prepositions in, on, and at. This video is sponsored by the following websites. How do we use these seemingly simple prepositions in English? In, on, and at. Prepositions in, on, and at. In many languages, there is only one preposition to indicate time or place. In English, there are three. This is why it can be so confusing. For example, in your language, you might just have one preposition, whereas in English, we have three in, on, and at. Prepositions in, on, and at. The problem is knowing when to use in, when to use on, and when to use at. It's actually quite simple. Just remember we move from largest to smallest. In, on, and at. In place and time. Prepositions in, on, and at. Let's start with place. Moving from largest to smallest. Remember, in, on, at. In a country, in a city, on a street, at an address. Here are some examples. Notice we are moving from largest to smallest. In Japan, in Jakarta, on Main Street, at 115 North Main Street. Here's another way of looking at it. In Western cultures, we find addresses by looking along lines or streets within cities. First, we find the street. Then, we find the address along that street. For example, the blue is the city. The purple lines are the streets, and the red X is the address. In Salk City, on King Street, at 19 King Street. Where do you live? I live in Kansas City. Where in Kansas City? On 5th Street. Where on 5th Street? At 119 East 5th Street. Prepositions in, on, and at. Now let's look at time. Moving from largest to smallest. In, on, at. Examples. In, year. In, month. On, day. At, time. Prepositions in, on, and at. Relating to time. Here are some examples. Again, we're moving from largest to smallest. In 2019, in March, on July 15th, at 7 o'clock. When's the party? It's in July. What day in July? It's on Friday the 9th. What time? It starts at 8 o'clock. Test yourself. Fill in the blanks with the prepositions in, on, or at. Where is your office? It's 7th Street. What time is the presentation? It's 1 o'clock this afternoon. Where is your company located? Where? 152 Bound Avenue. Check your answers. Where is your office? It's on 7th Street. What time is the presentation? It's at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Where's your company located? We're at 152 Bound Avenue. Try some more. When is John's party? It's May 4th. What time does it start? It starts 9 o'clock. Where does he live? He lives Dayton. Answers. 
When is John's party? It's on May 4th. What time does it start? It starts at 9 o'clock. Where does he live? He lives in Dayton. One more set. When should we meet again? Sometime. March. Where is a good place? Let's meet. Dallas. At my office. 10th Street. What day is best for you? Let's meet. Monday. When should we meet again? Sometime in March. Where is a good place? Let's meet in Dallas. At my office on 10th Street. What day is best for you? Let's meet on Monday. These are basic principles for using the prepositions in, on, and at in English. There's more to it than this. In future videos, we'll discuss the differences between phrases like in church and in the church. Keep checking back for more. Please, kick, please click on the links for more information. Prepositions, in, on, and at. Prepositions of location. Prepositions and time words. They're in the description below. Thanks for watching. When you have time, please check out our websites.